Update 2 on Tropical Storm Fito, which is currently located towards the east of the Philippines, out in the open western Pacific, only with winds of 60 miles per hour, higher than earlier, a pressure at the center of 985 millibars, and current position 16.0 degrees north, 131.4 degrees east, expected to move towards the north-northwest over the next few days, intensifying along the way, possibly quickly, uh, to reach a peak intensity of Category 3 typhoon status. Um, could even be higher than that, um, if it really gets its act together as it approaches the Japanese these islands which is where we'll be um, looking out for first of all that's the immediate concern the Daito Islands the Ryukyu Islands uh, Okinawa Amami um, and eventually possibly Kyushu as well uh, before the storm moves towards South Korea certainly something to watch for South Korea as well over the next few days uh, probability percentages of tropical storm conditions in the next four days 96 hours uh, very high um, along those Japanese islands towards Kyushu a little bit lower but that may rise as time goes on as we get a better idea of what we'll be seeing. Uh, but sea surface temperatures where the storm's currently located, very warm right now, around 29, maybe even 30 degrees Celsius, certainly ripe for intensification over the next few days. And that will remain the case right until it passes the uh, Ryukyu Islands. It will still be 28 degrees at that point. So certainly a bright future ahead of, of this storm, at least as far as the storm's concerned. Um, but the CMC model takes the storm into Kyushu Island in Japan. So that's a rather interesting scenario that might play out um, as a typhoon brushing the eastern coast of South Korea then as well and eventually turning extratropical with a new storm forming after that. The GFS model takes a further westerly uh, route uh, moving it through the Amami Islands in Japan and then eventually Jeju and the western coast of South Korea as a significant typhoon before eventually making landfall in North Korea and moving towards the northeast. Um, so certainly interesting um, viewing at the moment certainly um, interesting to see what may happen with this storm. Latest satellite imagery showing how the storm's been uh, uh, um, getting its act together, tightening up over the past few hours in particular um, and you can see some more intense rainfall starting to occur on this image or maybe even the next one, yes this one you can see uh, a few white patches there showing some rather intense cloud tops there um, in the storm, um, extending quite far out as well with that, with that spiral band uh, certainly showing how it could be an intense storm down the line that's mostly displaced towards the west and southwest of the storm at the moment the northeastern quadrant looking a little bit light at the moment but that may change as time goes on and certainly expect it if, it if the storm's going to reach typhoon intensity at least so let's take a look at the world tropics right now of course invest 97l in the atlantic in between central america and jamaica tropical storm jerry out to sea in the central atlantic and we currently have uh, three systems in the in the western pacific that is um what's left of Wu Tip, which is moving over the Asian continent on the Bay of Bengal side now, closer to, and with the two storms as well, Fito and Sepat, of course, uh, both of tropical storm intensity now, Sepat with 40 mile per hour winds and Fito now, of course, with 60 miles per hour, which is currently intensifying uh, fairly quickly. It's up from 50 miles per hour earlier today and yesterday it was a minimal tropical storm, 40, 45 miles per hour, so certainly gradually getting there. 19 tropical storms so far this year. That's the 65th busiest on record. The six um, least busiest on record though that is as well seven typhoons so far this could well be the eighth on the way and three of which have reached category three intensity i certainly see a fair chance that fitel will become the fourth um, major typhoon as well over the next few days super typhoon probably looking unlikely at this point but you just never know with this um, with this part of the world so looking at the website, that's where we'll be most up to date over the next few hours in between now and the next video. So you might want to check that out. Um, as soon as warnings go up and in effect, they'll be posted up on the website as well. You can track any storm that's currently out there at the main storm tracking page. Force13.com forward slash storm tracking dot are presented with the overview map with all the storms on there, including invests and post tropical cyclones. Um, and with tables at the top and bottom showing their intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect around the world right now. Um, at the moment, none in effect for this storm, but of course we do have gale advisories in effect for Japan with SIPAT. Refer to the other video for more information on that one. Uh, but elsewhere, nothing going on right now. You can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter to search Force 13 on either of those mediums. You should find us fairly easily enough. And as always, please do show your support by doing the usual means of engagement, liking, subscribing, commenting, favoriting, following, or indeed anything else that you may be able to think of. And um, if you do have any questions, or comments about the current storms or indeed anything else at all related to uh, tropical cyclones then please do send a message via youtube or via private message if you wish and i'll get back to you promptly if i can the video schedule then for the next um, few updates video update 2 on jerry coming this evening at 9 30 p.m utc on tuesday 
Uh, that's around 4:30 p.m. Um, sorry, 5:30 p.m. Eastern time. Video update three on Sepat coming at 2:30 p.m. on Wednesday UTC, and video update three on Fito at 3:30 p.m. on Wednesday. But until then, that's all for now. <laughs>